Muscadine preserves. Oh boy, how good. This is a little video from start to finish. Start with a, an abundance of um, muscadines. This happens to be the black variety. I have some bronze, but they were not ready yet. And here is the recipe that I use. It's um, this one, the amount is two quarts of muscadines, of whole muscadines. Uh, grated peel of one lemon and the juice from one lemon. A little bit of salt and four cups of sugar. I have uh, used one and a half times that. I used three quarts and then six cups of sugar. To start with, you break the muscadine open, separate the pulp and the seed, Put those in one container. This I've already done that, but this is just a, an example. And then here are the, the outer hull. This makes it a preserve as opposed to a jam or a jelly. You take all the pulp and that has the seeds in it and boil that for a while, probably 15 to 20 minutes, until it becomes soft and then you strain that through a coarse strainer to get the seeds out and save the pulp and the juice. In the meantime, take a food processor or some type of chopper and chop up the hull, cooking the hull itself. And it takes quite a bit of time to, for it to become tender. Select the container that you're going to put this in and I use uh, half pint glass jars. They have been washed and then sterilized in a bath of uh, hot water for a few minutes of boiling water. This is the seal to go on the top of the jar. This is the final solution. Uh, it's now cooking down to thicken up. This was the, the pulp was brought to a boil. The softened outer hull was cooked until it was tender. Those were combined. Sugar was added. The lemon, lemon juice, a little bit of salt. And this has been cooking now for close to an hour on a very low simmering stage. You, if you look closely if I can get closely, you can see the solid pieces of pulp. Looking good. After this cooks a little bit longer and gets a little thicker, I will put it in those jars that you saw. Okay, I'm now in the process of filling the jars. Have a little funnel there that aids me in doing that. And the mixture is still very hot. Remove the funnel. Wipe the top of the lid just in case something got on it. And the lid has been in a, in a bath of hot water. And then put a ceiling, a ring on it, just with a moderate amount of pressure. Set it off to the side. Mary and I both have already sampled it. It sure is good. Put a ceiling ring on it. When I get all of these done, I'll put them in that bath of hot water that we saw earlier. Okay, very carefully. I could get a few more in here. Uh, need to rearrange some space.
and here's the last one and then be ready to enjoy this on your favorite breakfast food a biscuit toast English muffin whatever you might like and that winds it up until we take it out well the, that batch that I made with three quarts of berries from the beginning I'm a little disappointed in the outcome of it. It was only 10 half pint jars. So if you're, if you're looking at this video and you don't get one of them, you'll understand why.